Here we are again building a PC, but not just any PC. This is a dedicated streaming rig. Now there are great benefits to having a dual PC setup. Your gaming PC is not going to take any hit whenever you are streaming and you can run even higher quality settings just for your stream and say that your PC goes out midstream, your stream will still go running. So if you've ever had questions about a dual PC setup, this is where it starts. Yo guys, what's the deal? How are we doing today? My name is Josh and I'm here to help you grow and elevate your live stream and gaming experience. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because here we talk about everything gaming, live streaming, and we love PC builds. Now this video is going to be broken down in several sections. I'm going to be talking about each of the components and why I chose them. You'll get to experience my step-by-step -step process as far as how I like to build my PCs. And we are not going to go without having some nice cinematic footage. And last, you'll see some real footage of this bad boy streaming. Now I won't spend too much time on this, but the gaming PC has a 2080 and a Ryzen 7 5800X CPU, a very powerful system. So we should be having some nice high frame rates and the streaming PC will handle it. Now, as we go over the parts, if you have any questions about them, you can drop a comment or click on the affiliate link in the description below. Now to start this PC off, there's one thing to note. All the encoding is going to be done on the graphics card. And those of you who don't know, the NVENC encoder is the same all the way from the 3090 down to the 1650 Super. So it doesn't matter if you spend a lot of money or a little bit of money on a graphics card, the encoder is the same. And that's why I chose the 1660 Super by MSI to do all of the streaming. As for the CPU, we went with AMD. This is a Ryzen 5 3500. Now you don't need to have a powerful CPU. This is basically a placeholder because remember, the streaming is gonna be done all by the GPU. Both of these are gonna be on top of the MSI Gaming Plus Max motherboard. It is an X470, basically a full-size board because we do need the extra expansion slot so that we can utilize a capture card. The capture card itself is going to be what's getting all of our gameplay and giving it to the stream. This is the Elgato HD60 Pro. Now Elgato makes phenomenal products, basically the best capture cards. You can choose to pick this one or even an external capture card like the HD60S. But I do prefer the cleanliness of having the capture card onto the motherboard rather than outside of the case. And for both our RAM and our storage, I have to give a huge shout out to Silicon Power for providing this for this video. We have 16 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz speed RAM, a very slick metallic covering that does have RGB as well that matches perfectly with our graphics card. And for our storage, we do have one terabyte on an M.2 SSD. They'll be placed on top of our motherboard and give us all the storage that we need. And to power the system, we do have 700 watt bronze power supply made by EVGA, which has some solid black cables to make it look aesthetically pleasing. However, it is non-modular, so any of the extra cables will have to be tucked underneath the case. And because I wanted the stream PC to match the gaming PC, we went with the NZXT H510. It's a cheap case that gets the job done. Now, there's a lot of discussion around this case. I personally like them. However, if you don't like them or if you do, let me know. Drop a comment down below. Now, as far as cooling, we will be replacing the case fan with some RGB fans. These are made by GIM. This is the second build I've done utilizing these fans and I'm actually going to be doing a full review. So be subscribed so you don't miss that video. And for cooling on the CPU, we will be using the NZXT M22 AIO. This cooler is gonna be perfect for this. We don't need anything over the top. It's gonna, of course, get the job done. But that's the last of the parts. So now let's build.
What the crap? people man so freaking toxic i'm sorry i am sorry look at this look at this right here <laughs> this guy's trash Now, crazy enough, I knew this PC was going to perform really, really good, but this actually blew me out of the water. I think, honestly, it's a little overkill. We can go even lower. I could spend less on the CPU, but that's okay. This PC itself had zero dropped frames, and every game that I did play and stream was max settings. We had RTX on. We have all the shadows on as well. Literally, I was literally trying to break this PC, but I was not able to. If you do want to see this PC real time in action, I do stream pretty regularly. So make sure to be following me there. But at this time, I'm a little bit curious. Is this something that you would build yourself? Would you change something like the case or maybe even change the CPU? You guys let me know. Drop those comments down below. And if you're not subscribed by now, make sure to do so and hit that notification bell. But at this time, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who stuck around. You already know what to do. Game up, stream up. Peace.